Okay, I feel like cooking with Imogen means one thing or one thing only on this channel, and it means that it's Hello Fresh time. And oh my god, picked up some coupons. Okay, so for this week's meals, we've got a rump steak with smashed potatoes, parmesan, 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 no smashed potatoes to be quite frank which i have never been so excited about potato i've wanted to try these for so long i feel like i've seen them on tiktok like literally everywhere so that's one meal the other meal we've got is a korma mango chutney glaze chicken look how good that looks and then the last one this is jed's request we've got a greek inspired lamb burger and wedges you know what i was <sighs> i was using my options and i was like lamb like i don't like lamb however this was calling my name like i it sounds really strange but i only like gyros when i'm in turkey and whenever i think gyros i think lamb because like if you have like a proper greek style gyros normally lamb i would want to say that that's correct anyways this is what i was really really wanting and i'm at this water and thinking about it right now so let's get cooking i always do feel like i always only ever show you one meal however for this little episode of cooking with imogen i will show you all the meals i'm not gonna cook them right now obviously but i'll like insert little clips and whatever i will not lie my presentation recently has been absolutely on point look how stunning this is she's eating good again another thing that i did also forget to mention the other day which i don't know why i didn't me and Jill actually fly to florida on saturday which we are so so excited for but then you're probably thinking okay well what's happening with hello fresh orders you can actually pause it anytime you want which i think is such like a great feature like that's just smart do you know what i mean like, i feel like a lot of these things like they like really lock you in for the subscriptions but hello fresh like how they like allow you to have that leniency which is so nice okay so we're of course gonna go over to the fridge okay. and we know how it rolls by now um it's number five so we're gonna find number five bag and then any extras that i need that are in like the fridge section so we need the mints we need the greek style salad cheese we need a garlic clove i want to say that's it like i was saying earlier about like me not really eating much lamb is that i feel like it allows me to try so many like different food learn how to cook like i now cook the best peppercorn sauce because of hello fresh this way okay it's saying to get the potatoes in first that is exactly what we're gonna do jennifer's actually using his fun little gadget earlier you best believe that i want to steal it father if you don't know what hello fresh is it is basically an online delivery grocery service where that too big where you can order fresh ingredients straight to your doorstep you literally just choose the meals online they have so many great meals whether you're like calorie counting or you want something that's like really high in protein or whether you want to really like good or whether you just want some really good food um it is just super cost effective especially because they have so many great like discount codes like always running as well as you being able to like properly like plan your meals for the week why have i chose the most chaotic thing to do this for yeah i love it it's super convenient and we get some great food as well like i feel like jed genuinely thinks i'm a chef because of hello fresh now i'll take it Like a, it tastes like a kebab burger. Oh, he's talking. He's talking. Well, babe, that was stunning. Oh, also, I forgot to say, Jens, if you're wondering why Jens looking like that, I just got into boxing. <laughs> Where else would he be? Oh, that was so good. I could eat that all over again. Like I was just saying to Jed, like I don't want the burger to end because I want more of it. Mm. Like I wish that those two meals that I just cooked would both for myself. I don't think I've really had many lamb burgers. No, that was so good. Like, no, so I need good. some more. If you are interested in signing up to Hello, you can get 60% off your first box and then 25% off your next eight boxes, which is just like crazy. And I mean, also just get the lamb burger. Yeah. Try it, please. It's really, really good. So if you want to save some money on some food and get some groceries in, Make sure to use ice in 60. Yes, sir. Now I'm starting this vlog off. We actually don't fly for another like less than 12 hours. However, it's already going wrong. I basically, I, it's annoying because I was actually gonna go to Stratford and get myself a new suitcase just because like I've got like a medium sized one, but like I kind of wanted like a little bit bigger, but not like crazy huge. Um, ordered one online being the lazy person that I was and it's come and it is humongous. I don't know if the size is like gonna come up on camera, 
but this is a suitcase this is a pretty like that's a medium suitcase and this is how big it is now we are going for two weeks so that would probably be like a normal suitcase to take apart from the fact that my parents literally pack so light and we've obviously we've got the seven seater that like we've hired because obviously it will be, it is a road trip which i'm so beyond excited for however i just don't think that that suitcase is going to fit in a car i just i don't think it's picking up on camera how huge that suitcase actually is online this was like from flight night and it said that it was a medium i don't know whether something went wrong and i've been sent a large or but like that's a medium suitcase do you know what i mean and this one looks teeny tiny compared to it so i now don't have a suitcase and to make things worse i was then on the phone to my mum and i was saying like don't worry like i won't go over the weight like yeah my suitcase is big but i'm not gonna go over the weight mum goes yeah no you better not because you only got 10 kg i went Ex excuse me i wouldn't say that i travel light anyways but 10 kg for a two-week holiday i was like mum dad what have you done um so we're now going to quickly run over to john lewis and pray that they have some kind of suitcase okay suitcase secured would have liked it to be black but at this point we can't be picky 55 which isn't too bad for a suitcase only a lot better than paying like the 210 for these antlers i'm actually so buzzed that i found a suitcase oh my god good morning today is the day we're flying to florida baby and i'm so excited me and jeb were actually saying we're so excited for the long flight as well i feel like the flights to be fair jed what was our last holiday together i was gonna say Bali, but it's not turkey when do we do that i don't know I think it was like March or February half term. That's yeah. a long while away. Like, if built to be fair, that was with my parents again. Yeah, I know. Yeah, like me and Jed actually haven't had like a holiday to ourselves. I mean, like we're still going with my parents again today. But oh my god, oh, it's just gonna be so great. Like we're proper road trip in it, and we're so so excited. But yeah, so me and Jed haven't done like a long haul flight in so long. The longest we've done is like four hours. So we just decided to sit on a plane and watch a movie for like hours on end. Just waiting for the Lizzie line, and of course, it got the goods. So we got two sausage rolls from Greg's. I'm literally so excited to tug into these. These are my favorite things ever. <laughs> Um, so we made it to the airport. Woo! It was so funny. We were like, oh my god, like how is how is this working? And it says go, which is a little bit strange. We're going to Miami. Uh, uh. I won't lie, it's not the food that gets me at airports, it's the shopping. But will I ever buy anything? No. But will I look and look and look until I'm bored? Yes. I can tell you my problems, meditate myself. There we go, there's the big boy. Oh my god, I'm gonna tell you my stylist. Oh my god. I'm gonna like seeing you now, no way, no doubt. Mum's gonna be wetting herself, and we're not even like two minutes, we're not even two minutes into the flight. She loves to take these off guard photos of me and Jed, but it's just. It's just horrific. I think wow. I that. No, please do not. Jeff, it's stunning. <laughs> that is where my mum is private for a reason. Like, this is like on Instagram. <laughs> what I was saying though is we got onto this flight and there was there's like 30 people in our cabin. Like there's three sections to the bay and there's about 30 people in here. I think we're gonna have like our own room each, which is just like unheard of. But obviously this is like a 10 hour flight. So if we can have like, our own rows and lie out, stretch out, this is gonna be stunning. Like dad's, he's um, kind of like on the adjacent road, like a little bit backwards. And he's got his own road himself. What? Just been doing the mandatory check and I've realised that they've got House of the Dragon, which I haven't watched. I think I've watched like two episodes, um, but you've got to pay for it on Amazon. And I'm like, I was just like, oh, I've got to be like spending 10 episodes and everything was like really expensive. And I've realised they've got it here, which I'm so excited about, so I'm really excited to watch that one. Just picking up the car now, it's all getting very, very exciting. We're ready for a big, big family road trip. Oh my god, so much time together! Hey! This is the monster we'll be driving around for the next two weeks. Okay, so this is me. That is nuts. This, 
Absolutely not. This is so spacious. We've got two seats back there. Actually, that's three seats. Oh my God. Okay, so we have indeed made it to the hotel. Oh my God, I literally, I don't think I've slept in 20 hours now. Like I'm flagging. I was actually taking my suitcase down that corridor and I was like near to tears just because like my suitcase like almost like knocked me over. Definitely over tired say least. Thought I'd do a quick room tour though just in case me and Jed do trash it. So we're staying in Orlando for three days. Well, no, three nights. So this is where we're staying for the next three nights. So we walk in, don't mind Jed, um, the desk gave him free cookies, so he's a happy bunny. We've actually got two massive beds. So whether we decide to stay together or just solo it, I mean, we'll take it. Yeah, just like so much space. I know that this um, hotel's really great because it's actually like so near all of the parks. And obviously like, I feel like when you come to Orlando, like as much as like there's so much to do, like the main thing is kind of the parks. And then of course the bathroom with a lovely big Mirror. Guys, we're going to Disneyland today. Well, we think. I had this whole palaver where when you're in the UK, you can only buy seven day tickets at the time. And now we're here. So we're basically just, uh, fingers crossed, going to turn up for when it's obviously opening. We should be able to get tickets. Like, I'm sure it's completely fine. I'm also, I've brought all my lip liners and they're all like nubbed. I don't know why, but you know when you have that one bit of makeup that you can't not have on your face, and for me, like, I'll go out without any makeup on and I need a lip liner. So I'm gonna have to ask my mum if she has a sharpener, but we're going down for breakfast now. Florida for three days now, and then I think, see what I was saying is it's three days in Orlando, and then we've got two days in Fort Lauderdale, one night in Key Largo, two nights in Key West, three nights in Miami, one night in Fort Myers, and two nights in Tampa, back to Orlando for our flight. So I think I'm gonna do Orlando and Fort Lauderdale, seeing how much we do, obviously, in these vlogs, but it should be great fun. Let's go and get some breakfast. Oh my god, how I look good. <laughs> all these cakes look and all the fresh fruit but of course i'm gonna get me some bacon okay i'm not even fancying a waffle but i feel like you just have to do it so i'm guessing that you get these cups and then is that under the thing i don't know and then push and then i think you fill i want to say this up to the top and then we've got some grid conditioner <laughs> so i don't know what's going on and just like that i've got my american breakfast We're doing the mandatory look at all the ears. Um, me and Mum have actually just found this one, oh, which is so cute, and it says um, class of 2023 on side. And Mum's actually like adamant. She's like, nope, you're getting it. It's really bad. Me and Jed are actually in Australia for my graduation, so we're gonna have to literally like buy myself a cap and gown and like do a little ceremony on the beach. But it's so weird, like our um, graduation ceremonies in December. So I mean, what can you do? So the heat's already got into Jed, and he's buying a bloody spray of fan bottle. Look at him. He's not impressed with the seat. <laughs> Judge show it in action. Oh, we're going for Pirates of the Castle. I do. And the key as well. Next ride, we've got Thunder Mountain. Honestly, everything just looks so picturesque, and obviously, like Disney, like dark. But it is just so fun. Drink now because we're so unbelievably hungry, so we would have just been on a thunder mountain. And, like, to be fair, like, the, there were tiny kids getting off that, so I was like, oh, like, it's not gonna be like a proper roller coaster. But, like, the speed and how much it dropped you, I was like, oh, what is going on? Like, I was fully, like, my head. It's the funniest thing ever. It's got some refreshments, it's got a frozen coke, it's actually really good. It's just on Space Mountain. Waited so long for that, and I wouldn't say that I like Space Mountain. No, it was, it was very pretty crap. And I think for how long you have to wait for it, you literally like it's these tiny little carts, and it's kind of like a pitch black ride, but it's just like a few like speckled with like lights. But you just wait for it to get faster, and there's like I think I would literally want to say like three dips, and that was it. And then it was like, okay, well I'm really glad that we waited an hour and ten for that. It's also really annoying because <laughs> I want to record it, but every time you go to record it, everything's pitch black. Yeah. So now I'm waiting for the virtual queue at Fortron, and we're just looking at all these pins. So these are all the 100 ones, and look how gorgeous they are. They're all silver with like little bits of colour. Like how cute are these? And the Simba, it's so adorable. His um, Mickey Mouse pretzel. 
Yeah, but it's, it's a It's Oh, it's so cute. Here we go, we've got our wiener. Woo! It's near. <laughs> Oh my god, how incredible is a Starbucks car? Jed, is it? She's so fuming because he thinks I'm gonna get it, which I'm not going to. But it's so, so cool. They've also got all of like the pumpkin cream pumpkin stuff cream. and the ice chives. Look at this weather change, it is pelting it down like crazy. Oh, I'm just being an Instagrammer. How incredible these are. They're like, they're like open and you've obviously got the character in Oh my god, see like things like this, I would put my Christmas tree. Because then you can just be like, oh like I got this when I was in Orlando, like when I was 21. Like, do you know what I mean? Like how adorable is that? Look at the tickle. Oh my god, there's a little Simba. <gasps> I just brought this over to me. And he's so I think you'd like this. <laughs> oh my god, the cookies and like the candy apples that they have in here. Look at those over there. Oh my god, and these. And then I think they're doing loads of different flavours of popcorn up here, which is so cool. It's the size of these. Oh my god, my heart is actually bursting. <laughs> Oh, I'm actually petrified that Jen's gonna get this fast if I know Jen's personal fan. <laughs> um, but for some weird reason, this I'm is Jen's like fan. one of this is one of Jen's like favourite um, I love these, these are so much fun. Yeah, but like even when we're in Paris, like he loves them. Right, right. right. <laughs> Do you read me? Very good. Man. It's not looking good, bruv. Even my mum did better than me, and that is saying something. Oh my god, look at these drinks you've just picked up. They're now uh, peanut colada slushies. I think they then have um, pineapple on top, matcha, and popping candy. It's so random. That tastes so good. It's Tron time, baby. Oh! Good morning, everyone. I think I have to put you down that because that is one thing me and Jen didn't bring. It's like I've got a tripe off my phone, but not my camera. Oh my God. To be fair, I will say the one good thing is obviously like because we're meant to be five hours earlier is that when I'm waking up at seven, like I do genuinely feel like awake, which is really nice. But yeah, so the last thing I would have vlogged is us on Tron. It was such a good ride, but it was so short. Like if you go, definitely do the Tron ride. However, pay the extra ten dollars and get that lightning lane because we didn't realize basically when we were at like the desk speaking to the girls about like the tickets as well like she was saying like for tron like you need to be on the app at one o'clock so that you can get into the virtual queue and we're like okay brill we literally like i genuinely as soon as it turned one i refreshed it and we were in however we were 139th in the queue and you would think, oh, like that's not gonna take that long. It took six hours for our group to be called. And like, obviously we weren't just waiting around for Tron, like I think for like two, three hours more, like we were doing other things. And like by the end of it, I genuinely think that I know the park like off the back of my hand. Just using my hair syrups, I actually love these. I was really afraid that I wasn't gonna be able to take these away. And then literally as we were leaving, they sent me like the PR of the travel, like what's it called, size, which is super duper handy. But yeah, so we we were just waiting for so long and it was actually over in like less than 20 seconds i was like it was so good just like please have it like a little bit longer but do recommend but i would also recommend just like trying to what's it called lightning lanes yes it was super fun and also i know that because loads of um people were in the same boat as me in terms of when you're in the uk you can only buy seven day tickets at a time well seven or 14 and for me and my family were like we're only actually going to be in orlando for three days so like that just doesn't work however when you come over here and you get on american wi-fi not data but american wi-fi you can then book it online however we literally just went there um when the park opened at night which was obviously like a very manageable it was like a 15 minute drive from this hotel by the way it's also quite nice because i feel like with each vlog i'll be able to leave exactly where we stayed because obviously like it won't be a um safety precaution thing yeah you can literally buy them on the door and the people are so so helpful and they'll literally tell you like everything you need to know more than the website would do so i do actually highly recommend like just leaving it because the park is so big it, pre it predominantly has like availability and you can also check that online but one thing i will say is we knew the heat was going to be a lot out here but i didn't know it was going to be that much i was going to plan on washing my hair today but i was actually like i'm slicking it back because there is no way that i'm going out again with my hair up absolutely not but um it is currently half seven i'm gonna try and get ready fairly quickly because i basically want to do some editing um i'm obviously trying to like edit as i go on this trip um so we've actually got a starbucks in this hotel which is my favorite thing ever duh yesterday when we were at disney i tried all um they've obviously got all their like pumpkin stuff 
oh it's just so much better over here like i feel like americans know how to do anything pumpkin flavored but we're going to universal and i'm to be fair i was actually a little bit hesitant towards universal because don't kill me but i'm not a huge harry potter fan i like harry potter i've watched it rate the films would i do a harry potter marathon or am i like a big stand for it no <laughs> Um, but that's why I was a bit hesitant towards it. But the roller coasters that they actually have at Universal, like everything that we've kind of like read all the people we've talked to, they were like, if you like roller coasters, don't go to Disney. If you like roller coasters, go to Universal, which is very interesting. Yeah, so that's where we're going today. Very, very excited. It's also dad's birthday, but he's at that age where he's like, do not make anything about it like me today. Don't say happy birthday. Don't do happy birthday. And I'm like, all right. Right. Just come to get some quick breakfast. I've got myself an iced white mocha with two pumps of hazelnut, which is actually my UK order. I was just really craving it, so that's what we went for. And I've also got some sandwiches. By the looks of it, I literally have a McDonald's, but it's very hot, but I'm actually really excited to tuck into this. So we've made it to Universal. I feel like in this vlog, I'm literally gonna look so naked, but I have got a little top on. Um, but, oh my God, where's it gone? There's, there's the big globe, there's, there's the big Universal sign. But it's just like, it's crazy how, but obviously we know that okay. Disney and Universal are two different things, but like, universe is so much more grown up like it's it's crazy um but yeah we're really excited for today we're only and we ended up only choosing to do the one park just because we just care about the rides like that is what we're here but like look how cool this is so um you've got hard rock cafe and then over here you've got uh, charlie and the chocolate factory which is actually in the park that we're going to yeah. oh it's so fun okay so obviously this is ideal for kids but look how incredibly fun this is it's so annoying because there's one thing about this camera is it does not pick up all like the really bright colors but um yes yeah, so it's everything like zeus land it's actually so cute so here we go into the wizarding world of harry potter the guy at the front was saying to do this one first it's like it's like the hagrid's ride where you're on motorbikes to be fair it sounds very fun oh my god that was I had this when I went um, to like the London exhibition showroom and it was so, it was actually unreal. Jen's a bit unsure, he's like, I really don't want to try it, but like, it's so good. That's actually not what I remember, it's so strange, please try it. <laughs> you know, like, it's, it's like a... Uh, it's weird because it's fizzy and you would think it's flat. Yeah, it's actually a flat. Okay, so this is what we're doing next, lots of rounds. I'm sorry, this is going to be so fun. You know what I'm about? That ride will literally be unbeatable. It is the best ride I think I've been on like ever. It was insane. Like it was literally like the thing is though is it would like surprise attack you whether you would be upside down or like literally flipping over. It, oh, it was that's the one thing like in that one they said that you literally had to put your phones away in lockers like you could not have it on the ride at all you had to go through like metal security to text like it's really serious but um we're now just gonna grab some refillable drinks me and jen tried to find them at disney yesterday but they don't actually have them it's really strange um we're so excited about these scary cups are now really sad we'll have a bit of the green we're just like walking the park now and me and jen were like oh we'll get a snack through so we got a stuffed pretzel but like we don't really know what it's stuffed with do you want to do first bite yeah. mm. good Oh, it's fine. Is it? So we just got actually dread on that ride. It was it was actually really good. It was so much better than what I thought it was gonna be. I thought that was gonna literally be like just that one drop, but like there was actually so much to it. <laughs> oh, it's just not looking good for anyone. Dad's soaked through. Mom soaked through. I mean, all I'm gonna say, Charlotte Tilbury Saints for it. Thank you later. Guys, I'm so stuck. I love these hats so much. I just feel like, I don't know. Why, why do you love them? They They're are. just cool. They're just really cool. I'm thinking denim. I literally have like a pair of denim jeans exactly the same as this color at the hotel. So I feel like that would be really, really cool. But I actually really love this one as well. And I think Judd prefers this one a little bit. Hmm. They're both cool. Get both. <laughs> Jed's such a bad shopping influence. No, I'm like not. it's actually I'm not the, the best worst. normally. No, you're the just worst. Today I was saying buy two hats. <laughs> now just come for some lunch and it's really strange to like this burger and sushi place, but they've also like combined the two. So you could get like a sushi burger if you wanted to, or literally like overheating. Like hot hot, because when we um, finished the last ride we had to walk around the entire Ghibli park again. Just to come back here. Okay, so food has come. Look at the size of Dad's salad. 
It is human. So I got a tempura roll, which I'm so excited to chicken too. Some sesame chicken. Um, Jen's got a burger, but it looks very burnt. Like that looks good. Yum, just all I need after a savory meal. Oh my God, look at them. We actually got the mini ones that we can all have one. And Jen's got a Cinnabon cookie. Oh my God, Jen, they're warm. It's the fact they're warm. They're just so yum. I love cinnamon. I need cinnamon there. How's the cooking? Well. <laughs> the last I was probably vlogging, I want to say, was Universal. Today we did actually do Hollywood Studios, but I just decided to like, I don't know, take take a day off from the camera. However, I did TikTok vlog it, so make sure to check that out if you do want to kind of like see what we got up to. Mainly went to obviously see the Star Wars exhibition. Dad was actually in his element. I'm going to insert a clip now because it's so funny. It's just running around with an actual like beaming smile on his face. But yeah, we're now in the car. We're doing the first road trip. We've got an hour and seven minutes to go. It was a three hour our drive um, from Orlando to Fort Lauderdale that is now what we're doing. Probably gonna end this vlog off here, just obviously that's a chapter to Orlando. Make sure to join us in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, maybe we will do a vlog of a road trip perhaps. I don't know if you guys would enjoy that, but um, yeah. Just say bye babe. Bye babe. <laughs> See you in the next one.